Hi, so today we want to take a look at how to uh, work better with Sublime Text and Python or any language with the snippets. So what is a snippet? It's just a little piece of code that you can um, um, make it appear on the on Sublime Text with just a couple of characters or words, uh, whatever you want. Uh, let's make an example. For example, I made a, a snippet for Tkinter so that when I press the key and then the, uh, the tab button appears a regular here um, the code to to make a, a window, a blank window, so that I don't have to write it uh, twice. Or I always had a TK2 uh, keyword here to make also a label appear. Uh, now I can add label tab. If I want to make you see how it works, there it is. My if I want to add also label dot dot pack, I go and save it. Now I go back into a Python file and uh, I go tk2 and you see I got also the label pack here. So how it works, uh, let's make another uh, snippet. You have to go in Tools, Developer, and New Snippet, and you will see a template here of a snippet. Let's see how it works for Python. Uh, here, practically, it says, uh, hello, this is a snippet. Okay, and um, for Python, uh, if you want to use just when you use a Python file, um, delete these two um, tags uh, at the start at the beginning uh, so that it uh, becomes, um, it works, it's not a comment anymore. And then here, also in this line here, you get to delete the, the tags for the comment so that it you know you see you see that it changed color because now it's um, um, it's working um, the computer uh, render it so uh, in here um, for example you have to uh, tell which is the word that you want to use to make uh, uh, let's say for example I got a lot of um, the while loop for example here is very tedious uh, to write every game. I always use this kind of thing here. So let's copy it. Let's go here and go and on this line delete just this. Go and copy it. There it is. You have to leave this one and and this one at the end and in the middle you put this. So now uh, let change this thing here and let's uh, call it you have to make something that you can remember that it don't make you make a mistake when you when you trigger it so let's save this as <coughs> I'll put it into my um, in the directory where there is sublime text free packages user and I created this um, folder here Python snippet but you can put it into user it's the same and now I will call it while you can give it any name it doesn't matter really the important thing is the name that you put inside the, the script to make it work so you call it uh, while dot sublime um, this sign here the minus or uh, snippet go and save it now it should work when you press this it doesn't matter the name name this tab trigger thing here while so let's see if I go down here and I do while and press tab you know that it won't work because while is a keyword so uh, you will probably need to change it because from some other plugins let's call it will that's so will okay now it works and you see that it created your keyword you can also use another trick for your you can have you know 
instead of you can use always an underscore for example you gotta choose you can do what you want okay for example if you remember it like this way or if you don't remember go underscore and while so that let me put the sign here too. And this, so that it doesn't confuse with the, uh, the other um, key trigger that can be in Sublime with associated with while. And so you can make another thing uh, also with very useful for the for this stuff. Um, you can make, for example, um, you could want to well, this I don't need this. The screen fill it is needed, so let me save it this way. For example, you could want to change the colors uh, here, and uh, to put something that you can change, you can go like this: the dollar sign and the apostrophes here, square brackets with one, two, so if you want to personalize something here, so you save it, when you go here and go your keyword here and tab, you see that the cursor goes immediately here, so you can go zero, then you press tab and go to the other one, 256 and zero. And so you can make as many of these as you want, to make uh, the thing that are that you won't change just ready to go with just a tab okay and then it goes to the end of the of your code so I hope this is helpful for you um, I want to use it back it was um, I didn't use it for some times but now I think that I wanna uh, be faster sometimes when I do some kind of code that I have to use it many times so I don't want to rewrite it or go and find some files in where I stored it I think that this is uh, nicer and you just have to remember the keywords choose a right um, method to to recall your snippets and and let's see that is all you need to know about this I think here we got also if you go here last thing if you don't remember well uh, you can go to your snippets and do it like this way okay you don't have to do the TK and tab thing you can if you don't remember it you can go to tools snippet and you will have your your snippet and you see here TK that this is the name that you gave to the uh, and this is how you can go to it so TK and tab, TK2 and tab, while is this sign here and tab. So here you, you will remember how it is. You don't have to remember it. You can look at it into this one. And here, for example, I made some time ago. Now I forget. I forget it. This was the Tkinter. Um, this other Tkinter stuff here. Let me see what it was. Okay. It was this simple script here, so I should have made this complicated thing here. That it should work. Okay, now it works. And so that is how you can you can create your your snippets. 
Thank you and see you the next time.